Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, we will showcase our inventory, purchase and sales tracking tool, TIPS. This is a lightweight tool to track inventory, purchase and sales built on the Google Suites platform. It uses mainly Google Sheets and Google Forms. This tool can be purchased and the links where you can purchase it from is mentioned below in the description. Let me walk you through the tool first. Let's go to the section of products where you enter the details of the products you are going to purchase and sell. This is our product list. Here we enter the products we have, the unit, what the initial stock is and what your reorder levels is. This is to calculate a report which shows us when the product needs to be ordered again. The columns E, F, G and H you see are in red color which means that these are calculated fields and should not be edited or deleted. The products that we are going to purchase or sell need to be entered in the column A. So let's enter the new product information here. I'm going to put product 20. You notice that it's same as our earlier row, which is as product 20. Because the name we've entered is a duplicate entry, both the names are highlighted, which will ensure that we enter only unique product names in this table. So I'm going to change this to product 21. Let it be kgs. I have initial stock of zero and my reorder level, let's say is five. Okay. And now you know that there's no duplicate entry. Let's see the form list tab. This sheet has the information for our Google forms. In column A, you see the vendor list. As you see above that, it says that the user needs to fill the below list. So all our different vendors needs to be populated here. And column C and column E are products and units. You notice that the color of these two headers are red. And the information above it shows that the below lists are automatically populated from the product sheet. That is the sheet where we enter these details. Hence, column C and column E are automatically populated. When we entered product 21, in this sheet just now it got populated in our product sheet these lists can now be uploaded to a google form so that the drop down information in our google forms match these data and make it a very easy experience for us to enter the information so once you have all the data for your needs we need to press the button update form values when you do it first time the app script which is behind it will ask you an authorization. You need to say okay. So once I run the script, it's going to give me a message values updated, which means that now my form is up to date with the current values. Say okay. Out here you can also choose the currency for your data. Either you can pick from the list of the different currencies like dollar, rupee, euro, pound, yen, or you can put your own. I would suggest either put a one or two character currency symbol here. So I'm just going to keep it dollar. And now let's move on to data entry. Data entry can be done in two ways in this tool. One is using Google Forms and the other is directly into the sheet. Let me show you the Google Form option first. Let me go to the Google Form. So this is a Google Form. I'm going to pick the date. I'm just going to pick today's date. Say it's a purchase entry and hit next. My vendor based on my forms list, let me choose vendor five. Product will now have the new information which we have entered and updated. So I'm going to choose product 21, keep the quantity as 25. Unit let me put kgs and amount let's say as 3000 and say submit. So when we go back to our sheet, so data which we've entered in the Google Forms will now come into our form responses one sheet. Let's check it there. And there you see that now we've purchased product 21 from vendor five, quantity is 25 kgs and the amount is 3000. The other way to enter data in this form is to directly do it here. Again, you note that the column A, M, N, O, P, Q are red in color which means data should not be entered here. So let's enter the data in the remaining columns. Once you go to the date section in column B, 
you can double click here to get to a date let's pick today's date column C which is category let me put sales and now you notice that the column D to H is the purchase section and column I to L is sales section you can either put purchase or sales in one row cannot be both so since we've selected sales here let's go to the column I in this row and there will be a drop down which is based on our product list and let's pick the product 21 again quantity let's say we are going to sell 10 of those unit is kg and let's say you sell it for 1300 so this is another way to input the sales information sometimes there's a chance that you are updating old information so you may have let's say yesterday or day before yesterday's data out here you can then sort this data by pressing this button so once you press this button the data gets sorted based on the date and that way you'll have chronological information immaterial of when it was entered into the system once we start accruing the data like purchase and sales information we can now use the dashboard of this tool which is really powerful and can be extremely useful so let's see the dashboard in this tool this is the main dashboard the top half of the dashboard gives us information of the inventory total inventory quantity and the value and the sales information for respective time frames so on these two cells which is the stock on hand and the stock value you get the total stock on hand and its value based on the last purchase price of each product so this will give you a quick snapshot of the amount of inventory you hold from column e to column m on the stock section gives you the sales and purchase information if you see column h you see the data is up to 9th may which is the last information we've entered and this shows the day sales that is for 9th may what is the sales we've had and what is the month to date sales that is from beginning of the month to this date what the sales has been and here you see the day month to date quarter to date and year to date values for both sales and purchase for this date there is some dynamism here in this part of the dashboard so you notice the cell e4 it says date if empty will take latest date right now it was empty so it took up to 9th may let's say i wanted to get the information for march you can double click here and it will give you a calendar and you can select i want to see the data up to march 31st you will now get data for day month to date quarter to date and year to date for March 31st notice that this change is only for the sales and purchase information our stock on hand and stock value will be based on the current date so let me just delete it to get the latest information in this dashboard the bottom half of this dashboard is very powerful and is really useful when you want to slice and dice your data to look at particular information here you get the stock, the sales and purchase numbers, and the charts, and also the top 10 sales and top 10 purchases. This interactive dashboard report is extremely useful because it is very dynamic. You see the cells here which are for category, year, vendor, product, start date, end date. All these cells can be changed and our interactive dashboard report will change based on our selection. Let me give you an example. So let's say we change the category from all to only purchase. The data we now get is only for the purchase trend and also the top 10 purchase. This gives an easy idea on how the purchase pattern has been over a period of time. Now you see here the year is all, which is including our 2019 and 2020 data. I want to see only the current year's data, which is 2020. So once I click it, now you get the information only for the year 2020. Let's say I want to see both sales and purchase. So I go and change the category back to all. And now I get the both sales and purchase information for the year 2020 with the top 10 sales and the top 10 purchase product. Notice here that you have two values outside in green, which are total sales and total purchase, which shows 
the numbers for the respective selections we've done here. And inside our chart of top 10 sales, we have the number of only those top 10 products. So this will give you an idea of how much the top 10 sales contribute towards your total sales. Let's say now that I wanted to see this information of purchase and sales for a particular product. I can do that. Let me select product 1. So this shows that the product 1 gave sold $1,200 worth and purchased $3,200 worth in the year 2020. But hold on. You now have the stock information for that particular product. That is product 1 we have 28 stock on hand whose value is $2,800. And here you can see the trend on how we sold the product. This is extremely useful when you want to see product level information. Let me change that back to all. Let's see that now I wanted to see my vendor information. So now I can select let's say vendor 1 and I'll get the purchase information from that vendor for that period that is the year 2020 and how much is the total amount I've purchased from it. Notice that since no sales data is associated to a vendor our sales chart and the sales number is nil. In addition to this, we can also cross it with a product. So from vendor one, the product one we bought is worth $2,000 and this is the trend. You can also see the quantity, how much you purchase that is 20 from this vendor. In addition to these selections, you can also get this interactive report based on dates. So let me show you an example. Let me first reset all of them. Let's do it all again. And now let's say that I wanted this information for the first quarter of this year. So that can be easily obtained by putting in those dates in the start date and end date cell. Again, since it's a date field, we can double click here and we get a calendar which is easy to navigate. And let me select the beginning of this year. And as an end date, let me select March 31st as I want the first quarter. As soon as I do this selection, now this information which I'm getting is based only on the first quarter. Shows me exactly what my sales and purchase has been and what the top 10 products are. In addition to the visual representation of the data, we also have a tabular report of this interactive dashboard totally based on the selections we've done here. This is available in the tab DB report. So now we've selected all the categories and the start date and end date. So once I select the DB report here, I get the information based on my selections. Notice that the full header is red in color, which means this report is only for your viewing and there should be no editing or changes done in this sheet. So if I go back now to my dashboard and let's say I want to see only the purchase information of that quarter. I see it visually out here and once when I go to DB report, I see only the purchase information now. Let's say I want to see only the sales information. So I just change it out here and now in my DB report, I get only the sales information. With the help of our interactive dashboard and the DB report tab, you have the power to drill down based on day, product, vendor or category depending on what your requirement is. In addition to these two reports, we also have a low stock report which gives us the information of the products whose stock is less than or equal to our reorder level. This information is put in the product sheet. So when you go to the product sheet and when we enter a new product detail, we enter the initial stock and the reorder level. And based on this information, the low stock report is generated. Note that in the product sheet, we have the row three hidden. This row contains the formulas, hence your data needs to start from row four. Similarly, in our form responses too, if you notice, the row two is hidden, which again contains the formulas. So all the data needs to start from row three. This compact tool can be really helpful to give you powerful data and insights that will help you make key decisions quickly. When you purchase this tool, you will get an empty version of the sheet and the form. 
So this is how it would look where the dashboard of course is empty and the form list will have basic information say three vendors and product list would have let's say five products. You can enter the product names based on your requirements by overwriting over this field and enter the units based on your requirements with the initial stock and reorder level and the column EFGH will then be directly calculated to get you your inventory values, your low stock report and all the other good stuff. After entering your product information, you can come to the form list sheet and enter the vendor details. Ensure that the vendor list, the products and the units are up to date and match your requirements. You can also choose the currency for your reports. You can choose one from the list we've given here or you can add your own currency list. Once all the information is correct, now you can update your form. So let me just add in this case vendor 4. When you update the form first time, you will be asked an authorization because a script runs behind to update this data to our form. You need to say OK and continue. Since I've already given the permission, once the form values are updated, you'll get a values updated list. When you run it the first time, you may have to run this script twice. So just keep that in mind. Once you update this list, you can go to your form and let's say we put some information on 9th May purchase and here you can see a new vendor has been entered. I'm just going to pick a product. It's 400, let's say. Hit submit. So when you go back to your data, go to the form responses, see now the data has been entered. You can sort the data to remove all the blank cells which may have come. There. So now data is sorted. And when you go to the dashboard, our information is up to date with the last data up to 9th May 2020. Our tips tool is really compact and can be used by anyone who's having a purchase and sale based business. Using Google Forms to enter data makes it really easy and seamless to enter data error free. The dashboard of our tool can give you great insights and information and also has the capability to drill down to the most minute detail as per your requirement. If you would like to purchase this tool, the details of it are mentioned below in the description. I hope it would be of use to you. Till next time, ciao.